KC7ZXY, what is the best way to put a hole in the side of the house for running coax? This is a very good question. I find a forty caliber to work pretty well. <laughs> that was my answer. <laughs> Yeah, so there's actually a couple of technical things to this. You want to make sure that the place where you're putting the hole in the wall doesn't have anything like any electrical wires or anything behind it. Um, and when the wire goes through to the outside, you want to put a little bit of a drip loop down so that when water runs down the coax, it'll fall off of the bottom of that elbow and not run in that hole that you put in the wall into your house. Um, I did a video, my DX Commander one year update video, I believe. At the second half, the, the last part of the video, I show how I installed mine. And it's relatively straightforward. I mean, I just went down to the local big box store and grabbed a solid wall plate, drilled a hole in it, put a PLSO239 chassis mount connector on it, and ran some coax through a hole I drilled in the wall. I've done a little bit of rough construction work for houses, so I kind of knew what was through the wall at, at that spot. But I mean, you know, drywall's cheap. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing that a Don N5 SKT said. Those MFJ window pass-throughs, I did that video. I don't know. It's been a few weeks now. I think they're not too much money, but my goodness, I like that thing. I mean, you, you do have the issue of the top of the window venting because, you know, it separates whatever the fancy schmancy word is for that. The meeting rail. Yeah, that one. <clears throat> yeah, but, I can't do that in Wisconsin. It's too cold outside. But, man, I, I love that thing. Yeah, my, my house is block construction, but it's pretty much the same as Teal said. You know, it's just it's just just a different bit is all. Yeah, I've used um, in the past as well. Uh, depending on if your house is brick on the outside, you can take just a single brick out and replace it with say a, a metal plate, and then run through using um, I don't, we call them uh, glands, cable glands. Uh, they're just a plastic. Um, well, that's what they are. They're a cable gland. So you screw in one side onto the in a hole through a plate, and you screw in the other side, and you just run the cable straight through, and water can't get through it or anything like that. So just run that straight through, and then have something similar on the inside to stop any air flow from you know any drafts coming through because in winter that's not very pleasant. And uh, and that's how I've run it into the shack. But I've seen people use PVC pipe and all sorts of other ways as well. I I didn't do mine this way. I don't know if you guys can. Can you guys see that? Yes. Yep. It's like a, it's a like a connector, and you just drill a hole through the wall and through the sheet, and it's got a nut on both sides, and you just put coax in, coax out. I didn't. I didn't do that on my on mine. I used a plastic uh, electrical box. It had a hole in the back, and I just put PVC through the wall, and then I I seal it around the box, and then all my wires come up from underneath. Um. Like 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 uh, EO was talking, so they had like a drip rail below it, so nothing, no water goes in. And then I and I've actually ran my uh, my ladder line through there too, through a piece of PVC by itself, and that's worked pretty well. But I bought those to uh, to, to do that with, and then I never used them. Like a barrel, it goes through a wall. <laughs> 